In today's video, I'm going to be talking about why you shouldn't be buying a house in 2022. This is the first time that you're checking out my channel. My name is Sean Oihara. I'm a branch manager with Loan Depot, helping you finance your homes all across America. It wasn't too long ago that I was just like you looking to buy my first house, looking to buy an investment property, or trying to figure out how to navigate the mortgage industry. Over the last 17 years, I've closed thousands of deals that can help you understand how to navigate these waters. And if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I drop content every single week to help you get your mortgage right and if you have any questions or need a second opinion on your financing you can always comment below or send me an email or simply click the link below to get started on a loan application now like i mentioned in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you five reasons why you shouldn't be buying a home in 2022 number one if you plan on moving maybe in the next six months to a year or you have a short horizon as your timeline buying a house may not be the smartest decision let's say your job is going to transfer you from one city to the next you might be there for a temporary position or a short period of time you may not want to purchase a home to then vacate it have it rented out deal with the headache of a property manager or renting the home out yourself i've had many of you reach out to us about that it seems like most of you would rather just rent a place for the short term and then move on and hopefully at your next stop you have a longer period of time that you're going to be living there to put some roots down and buy a house so i would say if you plan on moving and you're just really unsure of what your timeline looks like as to how long you might be living in that city buying a home may not be the best decision for you and number two if you are stretching your budget so this is really for all of you first-time home buyers the market has been on fire for the last 10 years values continue to go up and over the last several months rates have been going up as well so i feel like if you are a first-time buyer you might be chasing the deal right now and have Having that FOMO of I need to buy a house before it gets worse but really you should be really diving into your budget and to your numbers the last thing I'd hate to see is a first-time home buyer purchase a home and maybe their job isn't as stable or some kind of emergency happens and now you're putting your home at risk of going into foreclosure the thought of foreclosure I know it haunts many of you because it takes you back to the 2008 crisis and we definitely don't want to see that again which we're not even gonna get into that because for that to happen again there's a number of things that would have to be factored in to happen which we're not going to head to that point right now but if you are a first-time buyer and maybe you're struggling with your rent you don't have a ton of money saved this might not be the market for you especially if you're stretching your budget so make sure you dial that in first before deciding on buying a house number three you just don't have the patience there's so many other asset classes out there today where people are making money and they're doing it pretty quickly like crypto and nfts you have people just literally making tens of thousands if not millions of dollars sometimes overnight real estate is a long-term play if you're buying a house thinking that you're going to make some money in the next six months or a year or a couple of years this may not be the right time to buy for you because you're going to be so focused on what is my house worth versus the fact that you are now buying a house that will stabilize your monthly payments because rents we've seen have gone up significantly across the country in some states i've even seen rents go up over 30 percent from last year alone if if you need more stability i think buying is a great way to manage that however if all you're doing is to buy a house to see how much money you can make as quickly as possible you'd either need to look at flipping a house or if you just simply don't have the patience like i said this may not be the right time for you to be buying a home and number four maybe your job is unstable i think this goes along with my first point as to how long you might be working in a specific city i know like i said some of our clients are moving constantly because of their work but if you are working at a job that maybe your hours aren't as stable as they used to be or maybe your position might be eliminated because of further cutbacks with companies and because as things start to still slow down are we headed into maybe even a worse economy which some people predict we're going to be headed into a recession so does that mean that your job could be potentially laid off these are some things to really consider because again you don't want to put all this time and this effort and maybe your savings into a house where then once you move in you lose your job and now you don't have a place to live so you might need to be extra diligent these days with your budgeting how much money you have saved and even your job to make sure that everything is dialed in before you do decide to move forward and purchase a home this year and last but not least this also goes back to my first-time home buyers because if you don't have a ton of money saved 
Again, this might not be the time to buy right now because in most markets across the country, buying a home almost requires you to go above listing prices. Now, that's not the case in every city and that's not gonna be the case with every single offer because it really truly depends on what the seller is willing to take. However, in the hot markets, I'm still seeing homes get five, 10, 15 offers. And to be honest, most of these offers are going above the list price. Again, we've had clients that win deals at list price so it is a case by case scenario. So take that with a grain of salt, but just know that of course, if you don't have the money to go above the listing price, do you have the money to pay for your own closing costs? Because that's also another thing that the seller is gonna look at. They're going to look at what is their net number at the end of the day. And what are the two things that take away from their net? It's gonna be what they actually sell the home for, the listing price, the final settled price on the home, and whether or not they have to contribute to the buyer's closing costs. So if you want to help the seller out, of course, you're probably going to have to pay for all of your costs on your own, which means depending on the price point, you're looking at several thousands of dollars that you need to have budgeted on top of your down payment to be able to purchase. Now, working with a good realtor and working with a lender, there are ways to mitigate some of the out-of-pocket expenses, whether it be down payment assistance programs or whether it be your maybe your lender offering you some sort of credit or actually here at Loan Depot, we actually have a Grand Slam program where if you work with one of our Loan Depot loan officers, we actually have a program that can credit you towards your costs by using our preferred partners. So if you want more information on this, don't forget, send me an email. I can get you more information on your scenario as to how much money we could potentially put back in your pocket by working with our amazing team. Those are five things to consider if you are thinking about buying a home in today's market. And those are five reasons that I feel if you are unsure about any of them, or if you are in that position where any of them do hit your hot button as far as moving, your budgeting, money you have saved right now might not be the best time. However, I would recommend talking to a lender to get a game plan in place for you. So that way, maybe in the next six months, or maybe a year, if you follow the plan accurately, you might put yourself in a position to buy and maybe you'll be in a better position to buy at that point. But if you are ready to purchase a home, we can get you started on your loan application. You can click the link below in the description to get started. And if you ever need a second opinion, Opinion, that's what we're here for. You can send me your estimates and I'd be happy to run an analysis for you. My name's Sean Uihara and I'll see you on the next video.